All right, guys, let's talk about this Wham Beauty Skincare by Serena Williams and the recall. We ain't gonna skip over that. Hey guys, what's up? This is Miko, and today I am so excited to be reviewing Serena Williams' brand new makeup line, Win Beauty by Serena Williams. The line launched at Ulta on April 8th, but I'm just getting my hands on it. So I went in Ulta yesterday specifically to pick up these products so I can try them out. Cause you know, Serena is my girl, she's the go, and I for sure wanted to try out her makeup line. So I went into Ulta yesterday and I was looking at the entire line and I ended up leaving with the skin tint and the concealer. I wanted the lip gloss, but they didn't have it. So I just said, okay, no problem. I'll just review these two. So this morning I wake up and I'm like, no, I really want to review the lip gloss with this, with, you know, to complete this look. Now on the website, whambeauty.com, you can see right off the bat that the tagline is makeup made to move in. It's a very nice website. It's branded with their signature greenish yellow. They have products for the eyes, lips, and face. And as you can see here, the foundation has tons of shades. So you shouldn't have any problems color matching your skin tone. So when I Googled Wim Beauty, I saw this Wim Beauty recall. So I clicked on the link and oh my gosh, the lip gloss was recalled due to mold in the product. So it says it should appear as, as white dots on the applicator or in the bottle itself. So if you have this product, stop using it immediately. Now nowhere on the website do I see any mention of the recall, but if you go up to the lip and cheek tint, you can see it's out of stock. And every color that I click on is out of stock. And guys, it's so funny because I was in Ulta the day the product launched, but for some reason I didn't pick up the product. And fast forward to today, that was God. That was God had me under his protection because I would have been using that product, guys. Oh, I'm telling you, I got a praying husband. When you have a praying husband, you covered. So thank you, Jesus, for your grace and mercy, I'm telling you. And to be honest, the recall has me shook. I mean, I was hesitant to review the product because... Who knows if there's gonna be a recall on anything else. But I thought about it and I decided to go ahead and do the review because I didn't pick up the lip gloss and that's the only thing in the recall. So I picked up the Hydrating Skin Enhancing Tint in 435 Empower, which also has SPF 30. I also picked up the Nothing to See Soft Matte Creamy Concealer in the shade 330 Aim. And you get this makeup bag as a free gift with a $50 purchase. So my skin is already washed. I put on all of my skincare, my serums and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna start by priming my skin because this is a hydrating formula, which I typically don't use. So I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I have never used this before, but it got great reviews on Amazon. So, and I'm just gonna put this where I have really large pores. So basically in my T-zone. If you watch my last skincare video, Skincare Over 50, I showed you how large the pores are on my cheeks. And I'm also gonna use the NYX Shine Color Primer. Since this skin tint is a hydrating formula, I wanna to try to mattify my skin as much as possible. And the few times I've used it before, it did a pretty good job of controlling oil. So I love this little capsule container that the skin tint comes in. And I just picked up this e.l.f. Precision Airbrush Blender Foundation Brush. It's super soft and it's angled to fit the contours of the face. Now, one thing I'll tell you is the shade looks lighter in the bottle, but as it dries, it will oxidize and get darker. So when you do your swatch test in the store, I recommend walking around for a little bit and letting it dry so you can see the true shade. This is the third shade that I tried. I tried two darker shades and I was surprised how dark they got on my hand. I mean, it oxidizes a lot. So as you can see, this is definitely giving light coverage because it's not even covering the hyperpigmentation under my eyes. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more and see if I can build up the coverage a little bit more under my eyes. 
So I don't know how buildable this coverage is because I applied two layers and it's not giving me any coverage under my eyes. And this is definitely giving a hydrating radiant finish because it still looks oily. So I'm just gonna let this sit. I'm gonna do my brows while I let this sit and oxidize and settle and see if that shine kind of dissipates a little bit. This skin tint is so oily on my skin, guys. This pen is just sliding around my face. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, it's still oily. I'm going to let it dry down a little bit before I touch it. I am going to put some powder on, but I'm getting really concerned because my face is super oily <laughs> and it shouldn't be. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. This is the Elf Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. And I don't know if the skin tint is so oily because of the SPF. Because, you know, sunscreen sunscreen can make your skin oily as well. Okay, I got to go ahead and put some powder on. I'm sorry. This is this is not going to work. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Mattifying Face Powder. Okay, I'm going to have to go on with my Beauty Blender and just really try to get in there. Because there is so much oil on my skin. Oh, my God. Oh, this is like... The end of the day, after oil has built up on my skin all day, that's the amount of oil that is on my skin right now. All right, so I'm gonna conceal under my brows with the MAC 24 Hour Concealer. And I'm gonna set this with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Honey. I'm also gonna set up my eyebrows since the skin tint is so oily. All right, so now let's conceal under the eyes. I did try this in the store as well against the foundation. And this concealer is medium coverage. Ooh, that line is crooked. <laughs> Now, what I can say about the concealer shades is they did not have as many concealer shades as they did in the skin tint. So it was kind of hard for me to find the right shade of concealer because this one is a little bit darker than what I normally go for. They did have shades that were lighter, but they were more on the cool side and I wanted a warm concealer. So I went with this one. So this is blending right in. It's actually blending very well. And I am going in with a damp beauty blender. And before I blend anything else, I'm gonna set my under eye because I have fine lines and y'all know I have issues with caking. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder. I love this setting powder, guys. It is so finely milled. You can barely see it on my skin as I'm applying it. If you have fine lines under your eyes and you have a problem with caking, you might want to pick this up. I think you would enjoy it. I'm just going to take what's left over on the sponge and put it right here underneath my cheekbone so the line isn't so harsh. And I'm just gonna set this with the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent. I love it, it's such a neutral shade. That's what I like about this. It doesn't give you, you know, it's not yellow, so it's not gonna give you that flashback. And I really feel like I need to go in with my sponge. I feel like I gotta do extra control of this oil, guys. Oh, that looks much better. Oh my gosh. I was concerned. <laughs> I was really concerned. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna contour with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour Stick in the shade Deep. I haven't used this before, but I picked it up because I'm trying to stop putting cream products on my face because I realized they make my skin more oily. 
And I picked up this uh, new brush from Real Techniques. This is the Snatch and Sculpt Contour Brush. And I'm just stippling this so I don't disturb my foundation. Oh, this blends out nicely. I love a really deep contour shade. I just love the way that looks. Oh my gosh. And see with the contour, with contours you can go darker because they blend so easily, right? I like to drag it up a little bit onto my cheek for that gradient effect. And so there's a nice transition between the contour and the blush. And it's a liquid and not a cream. So I don't have to worry about it making my face oily. That looks really good. All right, Elf. I see you. I see you doing your thing. To set that liquid contour, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 390 Ebony. I just pounce the brush into the product. And this is one of the really big Real Technique face brushes that I love using to contour because it's so big, it just diffuses the product and applies it all at the same time. So it does the blending for you. All right, and so I'm gonna sweep a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder under my eyes. So a little more subtle than using an actual highlighter but I like the look that it gives. So for eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go with a neutral look. So I'm gonna start with Nana from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. Just a soft orange, just to warm up my eyelid. Look at that, just nice and warm. Start in the crease, work it up, boom, boom, boom. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here from the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth Palette. Okay, so this is real light, which is good, which is good. It's a little bit lighter. Oh no, it's perfect. Oh, this is perfect. So just applying it in the crease and then dragging it up. And for my lid, I'm gonna use Idea from the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. And then so I don't get any fallout, I'm tapping off the excess on the back of my hand because I don't want this to get on my lashes. And I just want a subtle color. Look at that, that is so pretty. It's nice and subtle. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm. And see how it's just the contrast between the gold and the brown? I may have to clean off my lashes after I do this. I'm wearing Lashify lashes. And I love them, they look so natural, but it is hard not getting eyeshadow on them. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade right here to the outer corner. Just to balance out that gold. And to highlight my inner eye, I'm gonna use this beautiful silver color right here in the Nubian Earth palette too. And it has like little flecks of green in it. And it's just gorgeous. I love this palette. I'm lining my lower lash line with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof Gel Eye Pencil in Onyx. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that shadow color to my lower lash line as well. Just to tie it all in. And I'm gonna put the darker brown on the outer corner. Bring it up to tie into the shadow. Oh, that looks beautiful. And I'm gonna use this beautiful shade right here. It's like a mix between brown and gold to highlight my nose. It is just so beautiful and subtle. It almost reminds me of Kilowatt by Fenty. And for blush, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush in, I don't even know the color. And I am going to put this on the back of my hand. This is beautiful 
goldish orange color. And then I'm just gonna dab my beauty blender into it to diffuse the product so it's not so intense because I've never used this before so I don't know how pigmented it is. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna use the flat edge to blend. I'm taking it down into the contour so there's a nice transition between the two. Oh, I like this blush. This is beautiful. Okay, your girl is looking like a brown goddess, okay? Mm, this look is nice. All right, and so to set my face, I picked up this tinted brightening core setting powder and it has a brightening core right in the center and i'm just going to swirl my brush into it and i'm going to use this as an all over setting powder so there's very little pigment in this it's not really covering up my blush or my contour mm, i like this see how it just ties everything together for lips, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss. But first, I'm going to line my lips with my MAC Lip Pencil in Chestnut. And of course, I'm going to set with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, the Ultra Matte Version. Yeah. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I'm surprised at how nice this turned out because I was concerned about the skin tint, just how oily it was in the beginning, but I was able to kind of mattify it and really get it to look good. So I love how this look came together. So guys, let me know if you are going to try the Win Beauty by Serena Williams, considering the recall, or if you're just gonna wait and see if anything else gets recalled. Let's talk about it. Leave me some comments. All right, guys, so my ponytail is from the beauty supply store. It's like a kinky, straight texture. I love it. It is so freaking long. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And then my t-shirt is my Black Barbie shirt. It is so gorgeous. I got it from Target uh, probably about three months ago before we went to Vegas. So before February. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I got to get out of here. I am starving. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some comments and let me know what you think about this look. All right. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.